What's up party people, Tim Warlow with the Countdown Realty team and I am happy to announce a couple of big things that are happening in our area. Just this last month, San Antonio was named the fastest growing city in the country over the last decade. Thank you for staying with us after the first six months of this year. It has been just crazy around here. We've had interest rates climb from 2.5% to over 5% and I'm sure you're wondering how that's affecting things. We've also seen prices continue to rise. In March of 2022, we saw a 20% increase from last year in prices. And obviously everybody knows that's not sustainable. Here's the number one thing that is driving growth though. Between 2020 and 2021, San Antonio saw over 13,000 new people moved to this area, which made it the number one fastest growing city by um, the number of total people. Not by percentage, by percentage, Georgetown, right outside of Austin, was the number one fastest growing. Um, percentage wise, they added 10% of their population in the last two years. That is crazy. For us, 13,000 people really accounts for a lot less, um, but on a grand scheme of things, that's 13,000 people that need a place to live. Those are 13,000 houses or 13,000 units that will be occupied by those families. So we know that that's gonna continue driving demand in our area, jobs are growing, San Antonio is still a hot market, Bernie is still a hot market, but what we may see over the next six months, if interest rates do not continue to level off, if they continue to rise over the next six months, we will more than likely see some price reductions in our market. We're already seeing a lot of the hottest markets in the country, which over the last two years were on the East Coast and the West Coast, um, specifically Idaho, uh, Washington State, we had um, places in the Northeast like New Jersey, uh, Georgia, Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina, those places had a rapid, rapid growth, rapid rise in their prices, you know, to the tune of 30, 40% in the last couple of years. We will likely see those markets start to reduce their prices as we already have in the last couple of weeks. Now, as interest rates pick up, um, we'll see people's buying limits come down a little bit. We'll see what they can actually afford to buy go down. Because if you had bought in 2020 when, pre when interest rates were 2.5% um, and now they're double that, so we may or may not see prices uh, come down as drastically as we thought. The big problem is that there's not enough inventory on the market and new home builders can't really keep up with production at a, at a price that makes sense for a lot of buyers. They have to build at a higher price point so that they can make the same amount of profit. In conclusion, if you're a buyer in the market, this is a really good time to reevaluate what you can afford and get ready to make a purchase as inventory increases. If you're a seller, let's take advantage of those high prices and capitalize on the equity you have and get ready for the next move. So thanks for staying tuned with the Countdown Realty team and we'll see you guys 